Welcome to Wednesday, December 21st. Look who I have here. <laughs> it's my Marin. Hi. So I learned last night, I was yesterday years old, when I learned that I'm doing Vlogmas wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently most people don't open up that day and and do the whole footage and then, you know, get it up that night. That's what I've been doing. <laughs> they do it like and a day why is that? Mind. Why is that wrong? Normally they start the day before December and film December 1st. So that they're so like... So they start on the 30th of November. Yeah, so they have time to edit like a day behind. Like daily vloggers, you're never watching the day. Correct. So Vlogmas... But during Vlogmas, do you it's, think you would... It's still the day behind because then after Christmas, the next day... Mm -hmm. It's all like their Christmas hauls. Well, their Christmas hauls. So I was thinking that I would do Christmas Eve. If we're being honest. <laughs> I was doing, I thought I was doing it right. But your face last night, you're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was like, this is my first real Vlogmas. I, last year I did Vlogmas-ish. And I tried to post a little bit more. I will say that with anything in life, when you do something every single day, not only do you get better at it, but it just becomes a part of your routine. That makes sense. I'm going to burp. Excuse me. Um, it just becomes part of your routine, right? So, like, every day for three weeks now, I'm like, oh, I have to get footage. I have to film something. Mm -hmm. And then I have, I have these things to do. Mm-hmm. And so then at night, I know, aren't they cute? And then at night, I would be, I mean, seriously, I'm up until like one o'clock in the morning. I'm getting much better, you know, they're usually out by nine o'clock that, that day, the day of. So would you say what I'm doing is like super impressive? Yeah. Wait, <laughs> so you're gonna finish editing this at like one. No, like, so I'll film this, mm -hmm. and then I film stuff during the day. And then you can put it together. And then I put it together. And then you edit it. Right? So at dinner, yeah. usually I'm editing during dinner. And then do you just post it right away? And then I post it right away. And then you work after. And then I do, like, what's left of the advent calendar at night, or any kind of knitting that mm. I have to have done. So, I mean, I understand. Well, so anyway... That's the way I did it. Maybe next year I'll do it a little bit differently. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So we, it's actually the sun is out, so you do see the sun on me a little bit. It's coming through little... the shutter over there. But, uh, yes. So what would you do today, Marin? Um, I woke up, and then I went to the barn, mm -hmm. and I, we have a winter barn and then, like, our normal barn. And I rode at both of them because it's really nice out today. That I came home. Right, it wasn't windy at all. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's and, cold, though. Yeah, but it's sunny. So, like, mm -hmm. when you have a jacket on, it's not that bad. And then I did some barn work. Then I came home. Then I pestered Graham. You what? Pestered. Oh. And then I waited till you guys got home. And then I said I was bored, so I came upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> so, today, Chris and I had a funeral to go to. So, we have been there. We've been there all day. So. They left all day. Well, it was in, it was far away. Honey. I know. And, um, so anyway, let's get to, you want to, you want to, you want to open them? What, what, did got, you, were you staining something? I can't explain them. <laughs> oh my God, your hands are gross. Don't touch my yarn. <laughs> Sorry, I like oh that. Oh my 
God, no, no. Okay. First up, Chelsea Yarns. It's day 21. What is that called? Chairlift. Chairlift. This is the Opre Ski. Oh. Isn't that funny? That is fun. Okay. Day 21. Ooh. Ooh. Look, it matches me. It does match you. So this is Chairlift. You know what that reminds me of? What? Cotton candy. It does. I'm hungry. Where would you get cotton candy? Every baseball game we ever went to. My dad used to tell me that cotton candy wasn't going to be there. <laughs> That's because he wanted to watch the baseball game. <laughs> and not pay for the cotton candy and wait for the guy. Cot uh, this is not cotton candy. Chairlift. This is chairlift. So my cha my chairlift oh, story, like my ski skiing, yeah, oh. opera ski, after ski, that's what that means, opera ski. I didn't get it. I just I knew to she play. didn't. I so to I know. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were like opera ski is not funny, and I was like, oh yeah, chairlift. <laughs> <laughs> so my chairlift story is when I was in high school. I was dating a boy, not Chris, it was before Chris, who was on the New Jersey teen um, ski team. And so my brother, who is 16 months younger than I am, not the one that you saw on Sunday, but uh, my other brother, Adam. So he was, he would go skiing all the time. So our YMCA you could go on these ski trips, right? It was like a day trip to a place in Pennsylvania. So my brother Adam says to me, Kimberly, don't, you know, I'll go come with us on this ski trip and I'll teach you how to ski. I was like, okay, how hard could it be? Like I ride horses, right? Like how hard, I use my legs all the time. How hard could it be? Uh -oh. So I'm in this like horrible ski attire. Like it wasn't even ski attire. It was like. Like shoveling clothes? It was like shoveling clothes. So I. I get there and it was purple. Ooh. Another similarity. So I get there, my brother takes me down once and is like, Yeah, you're good now, right? Okay, go like and left me. <laughs> well, he wanted to go ski. He wanted to ski with his friends. So I I tried my best and um I fell off the lift. I fell off the lift like pretty high. <laughs> they had to come get me in like a little <laughs> Ski patrol guys had to come get me in the toboggan. I was totally off, like so, off. Like, was the guy like so into you? No. <laughs> Imagine me in like a ski purple, <laughs> a ski purple ski pants. Like they weren't even ski pants. They were like Sweat like pants? snow pants that you would Ooh. that you would put over. And they weren't they weren't even lined. I was freezing. Needless to say, my skiing adventure did not last very long. and um, But we did ski as a family growing up. I liked how to ski when I was really little. Yeah, we went on. I'm pretty good. We went on lots. Humble too, I say. I've never fallen off the ski lift. <laughs> <laughs> I like That's that. because you had a mom. I know, but I learned how to ski. You were so overprotective. I know, and but. And I, I was like big on teaching you how to do it. Yes, you did. You taught me very well. But I learned how to ski when I was like a little itty bitty like little. Three. Like I had a little purple snowsuit. I looked like a blueberry. There's the purple again. Yeah. So that's my ski chairlift story. Here we go. I have a ladybug helmet. You did have a ladybug helmet. You were that little. Okay, Chelsea Yarns. Next up is Victoria Vita Lifestyle, and it is blue spruce. Is that a type of tree? Yes. <laughs> I like it. Oh. You can take it out. Oh, that's really pretty. It looks like a little, um, a garlic knot. It does. So Marin says it looks like a garlic <laughs> knot. That's what it looks like <laughs> it in looks the like, box. Like a garlic knot. Ooh, Isn't it pretty? That's really pretty. This is beautiful color. That's what I would think Aunt Jenny's favorite like color is. It's like a beautiful, beautiful uh, jewel-toned color. That's so funny. Beauty, beautiful. <laughs> jewel. Do you know what? All right. What constitutes as a jewel toned color? This. <laughs> no, it's a. It's like, a, is this a jewel toned color? No, that's a pastel. These are pastels. 
jewel tone. Look, this is a jewel tone color. This purple. See? Oh, we're gonna talk about this not on camera because <laughs> you gotta cut that up. <laughs> Quiet voices. <laughs> Suburban Stitcher, we have quiet voices. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> what happened to you? You all right? You're okay. <laughs> you, you're in front of the camera. You're like, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> no, that's like on Sunday. You're like, let's just film the family. You instantly turn it and I'm like, I know. Okay, I'm ready. You're good now. Okay, quiet voices. <laughs> the cold is coming. December's winter solstice, start of the season. Robert Pettit. Hmm. You ready to see the color? I'm ready. You excited? What color, what kind of color do you think it is? Blue, if it's a cold winter. Ice color. Dare I say teal? Wrong. Wow. <laughs> I'm really wrong. <laughs> That's um is that not mauve? Um, okay, so I see why you think like it's mauve, but it's it's more of a lavender, wouldn't you say? It's not a jewel let's, color. Let's show, it's not a jewel tone. <laughs> let's show the friends. <laughs> when I was up with uh, Molly Beth, she would be like, I want to talk to the friends. <laughs> and she would talk, she would talk into the thing. That's cute. So this is day 21. So let me show you what day 20 looks like. So it was, it, it took a little, it's not, I'm not finished with it because now what happens is with 20 to 21 and so forth, you're going to be like marling the colors. So you're going to be using, um, the 20 for a couple rows and then 21 for a couple rows. And you're going to keep doing that for a little bit. But, and I didn't fin I didn't get my homework done. So, um, do you remember I was up late last night you doing were. it? But I didn't get it finished because it was an awful lot of knitting for day 20. So, just so you know. Um, so you knit this little triangle right here. And then you join it to the main body. So every row it's 37 stitches. So you're knitting 37 stitches every single row. And then you're only decreasing one stitch on the main body of the shawl every two rows. So really it's, you know, 37, 74 stitches and then you decrease one. So I have two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 740 stitches and then two, four, five, which is um, half of 740. So I still have a lot of stitches to do before I'm done with, uh, with it. Do you have a question? This color looks like that color. Yeah, but not, so in this light it does, but it, it looks totally different because I remember the, when I held these two colors up, they looked exactly the same and look how different they are. Oh. But, so up close. Looks really pretty. Thanks. So here it is. And I was, I was interested on how, because I was looking at the pictures, and I was interested on like how this was going to be, but the pattern writing, I, I, it's ingenious. It, it's, abs it's so well done. I'm very, very, very impressed. So does she have a yarn business and... This person? Yeah, like does she just write patterns or does so, she also have a yarn business? So the the person that is doing these colors has the yarn business and then she teamed up with with a you designer like me. Well, thank you, honey. That's really nice. I don't know. I don't know. I think know. you should. Thanks. But you then have I a hat, though. But then I do something like this, but see if an advent is 25 colors, so you would have to do something with mini skeins of 25 colors. Sorry, I just spit. It's okay. And touched your boot, my bad. You could do like, like, like a really fun hat. <laughs> but it kind of wouldn't be, my thinking is it wouldn't be worth it, right? Because you're, you pay all that money for the 25 skeins and all you get out of it is a hat, right? You so you kind of want multiple hats that would work, but okay. Or you can make mini hats for Hank. It's all about mm, Hank. Because Hank. No. No, but thanks. So here it is. Reminds me of a baby blanket. 
It does? Like in the nicest way possible. Like it looks very joyful. I love the colors. It's like, it's like muted rainbow. Spring. I love it. So see, this is Ooh, the this point. this is really pretty. Isn't that cool? I love it. I, it, it's ingenious. So hopefully, uh, I have a lot of wrapping to do and I need to get that done so that I'm not stressed. I don't want to be stressed. Are you excited? Santa's literally on his way to town. Santa! He's on his way to town. <laughs> like, I can't. I'm a nanny and every time they do something that's like a little naughty, I'm like, guys, Santa's on his way. Do they have the elf? They have an, two elves. Oh, two? Mm-hmm. A boy and a girl? No, both girls. Both girls. And one's named Candy and the other one's not Candy. <laughs> There's Candy and not Candy? <laughs> Candy's like a stripper name. That's what I thought. <laughs> but Candy, Candy's naughty. Oh, really? Candy, she gets in some crazy places. Mm -hmm. I hated doing that. Rupert? Yeah. What's Rupert was the name of our elf. See, whoa. I touched Rupert once and Colin like wanted to disown me. I know. <laughs> and you picked him up and you picked him up with the tongs. I don't remember that. I do. Aw. It's amazing what like the kids remember, you know, as as opposed to what you remember. Okay, James makes yarn. I'm finally gonna say it properly. This is day three. But it's the twenty first. So I got a five skein. Thing. Okay. So I'm doing it every, every every other day up until Christmas. So this is the third one. Wow. wow. Whoa. That's a statement. I like it. That's so fun. This one is called dashing. It looks like someone dashing. Dashing through the snow. Wow. I really like that. I thought it was a soaping, soaping sleigh in a one horse soap. Pink sleigh. One horse sledding. What in a one horse open sleigh. Mm. In a one horse open sleigh. But it's in a one horse open sleigh. No, there's no soap. There's, it's a total of soaping sleigh. Okay, so. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, man. It's all right. You just spit and cough <laughs> on me. Uh, so this is dashing. What a really happy color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. These are his other colors, Marin. Ooh, this one's my fave. You love that one? I think this one is Twinkle. Tinsel. T. Because I, the green's my favorite color. Green is your favorite? This is like very like bold and statement. Yeah, I like bold. Yeah, my whole room at school's green. You're right. Green was my mom's favorite color, but now it's my favorite color. And her favorite color. We share green. Earth, the earth. Mm -hmm. Green reminds me of the earth. I see plants. You have lots of plants too. I do. I have a plant problem. So, what's your favorite Christmas holiday? Like your favorite Christmas memory? <laughs> favorite Christmas memory. Hmm. I really like baking the cookies and decorating them with you. Mm -hmm. And they always take really like so much time, and we pipe for so long that our hands make the icing like runny because mm -hmm. of how warm it gets and then everyone eats them in three seconds I know. and I feel like that would be a bad memory like uh everyone's eating them in three seconds but everyone's so happy when we bring them out and I like baking and then what else do I like doing <laughs> when I was really little I loved the advent calendar the one you do like I still really really like it but like when it was my day, like I used to peak. Yeah, yeah. I used to wake up early. They did love that. I used calendar. to wake up early and peak. And so there's three of them, right? So one, like I would write every year who got to start because, because whoever started got to do Christmas Eve. Was always well, he was the oldest. No, then we switched it up, and switch every year someone else would someone start else's it. Someone Christmas Eve. Yeah. But like nothing was worse than when it wasn't your day, and like you were homesick and Graham like would forget to pick it before you got back and you'd just be like, what's in it? <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's just like they're the same oh, thing. I know, I know. So cute. So or, fun. What else do I really like doing? Oh, I got it. The nativity. Mm. It is still my favorite. My best friend lives like right there, like right, my neighbor, her name is Paige, and we do the nativity every year and normally we set it up exactly the same. Like when you do the nativity, what does that mean? 
Like, you set it we up. We set it up. And then when we were little, we used to take it all down and use my mom's flip three camera and make baby Jesus movies. Uh, <laughs> Paige is Jewish, by the way. <laughs> and um, <laughs> nah. But this year, we felt like we should change it a little bit because... I mean, yep, I'm you did home. change it up a little bit. I'm not home all the time, so we're like, it's a year of change. Like, we got to do it. So now it looks different, but I think I like it more now. I like it. I'll show you all. I'll, I'll bring the camera down, and you can yes. see Marin's hand, Mar Marin and Paige's handiwork. It's really good. On setting up the nativity. We have, like, one side is, like, the farm, and the other side is, like, all the shops. Right. So, so that was another thing my mother did. My mom, every year, when they came for Christmas Eve, she would bring me a hostess gift. And the hostess gift usually was a different scene mm -hmm. from this particular maker for the nativity. Right. It's so pretty. Or she would give us, like, um, I remember when she gave us the chicken coop, she gave us the chickens. And then on Christmas Day, we opened up the coop. Yeah, that's true. She used to do And then she that also used stuff. to bring a um, gingerbread house from Bavella's. Not Bavella's. Where? Muller's. Bakery. Muller's. It was the best. Yeah. But I never used to, only Andrew would eat them. I, I eat them. I, I don't them. like that gingerbread. It was gingerbread. so good. I love gingerbread. Really? Do you like gingerbread, the taste? I have to be in the mood. I love gingerbread. But I like when Gus and Jenny bring gingerbread and they put it in the freezer. Mm hmm I love gingerbread. What's your favorite memory? Or your favorite thing we do? Mm. I know it's not the boxes. So, I have to say... I don't think it's like my favorite, but it's it's a it's a memory that sticks out like really close, you know, to me. So, of course, it has to do with my mother. But like every year when we would go to church, our church holds like 150 people. It's a very it's tiny so church, cute. and um, we would have to be there a half an hour early before the church service. Mm -hmm. Like my mom was a freak about it, and so we were we were. We were in the church. We were the only ones in the church. Like, the lights weren't even on yet. And we were sitting in our pew, all six of us, because um, I'm one of four kids and my parents. And someone came running into the church and said, call an ambulance. Someone's been hit. And a woman had been hit, a, a parishioner of our church, had been hit crossing the street because it was really dark. And so my mom was a nurse uh, before she had a family. So my mom ran outside. We all ran outside. My father uh, went into the office to call the police, you know, the ambulance. And <clears throat> it was an elderly couple, the Mices. And so my mom was taking care of Mrs. Mice. Uh, she was laying in the street and I was holding her hand. Of course, I was like right next to my mom. My sister was with her husband who was in shock. Um, and both my brothers were, um, like, diverting traffic around before the police got there. And then the police got there and everything happened. So we went inside and we had the church service. And then after the church service, we used to come home and have um, get our pajamas on and drive around and look at the lights in our mm -hmm. pajamas in the car. That was, like, the whole thing. Now... Granted, I was I was a teenager at this time, like I was older, and so we, my mom said we have to go to the hospital, mm -hmm. and so um, we actually drove to the hospital um, and spent the the night, Christmas Eve night, in the hospital with Mr. Micey because Mrs. Micey, um, she ended up live, you know, made a full recovery, um, but he didn't have anyone. Did you go in your jammies or? No, we were in our, like our church clothes, and then the um, the great thing was is that Mr. Micey went in the ambulance with Mrs. Micey, so he didn't have a car. Oh. So be, he was in the waiting room, and um, so my brothers went and got his car with my dad and my mm -hmm. my mother, my sister, and I sat in the emergency room waiting room, and um, it. It, it it was like one of those things that my mom always did, mm -hmm. you know, to show us how fortunate we were and how lucky we were. Mm -hmm. And it just left a big impression on me to help other people, no matter, no matter 
you know, what time of year it is and how special on Christmas Eve that we could do that. That is really special. <laughs> I love Christmas Eve. Uh, yeah, do you like Christmas Eve better than I love uh, like Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve the anticipation, anticipation and like we're waiting. We used to track Santa when we were younger. My yeah. dad was set up tracking Santa. We always have a party. We have a party, which is my favorite party of the whole year, because mm -hmm. the halflings always got to come, mm -hmm. and um, it's just so fun. And we watch the Polar Express. Mm -hmm. Have a fire in the fireplace. That's like my fire. favorite. And then Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you. Oh, Christmas casserole though does make Christmas Day really good. <laughs> the breakfast casserole that I make. And my dad gets the hash browns that are like the mm -hmm. patties. That taste really good. Mm -hmm. Christmas is just the best. It's funny after uh, of all these things that you've said, not one time did you say presents. Yeah. But I mean, they're cool. Like, oh yeah. It doesn't stink. It doesn't stink at all. <laughs> but like, I don't know. Especially now that I'm like away at school, like I just want to be with my like whole family at home, like in the living room. Mm -hmm. And like, of course there's things that I would like to get, but I don't know. Mm. The preparation is more fun. Than, like I remember even when I was little, like after we opened gifts, I was like, oh. I know, it's kind of a letdown, right? You're like, Christmas dinner. Now I'm like Christmas dinner. I'm always like I love the food. I love I'm like the food. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. Also, by that time, when I was little for Christmas dinner, I was like, there was so much excitement. Then it was just so much waiting, and I have no patience. And then it was it was over, and I was like, oh my god, it's over. I have to wait a whole other year. And then by that time, I was emotionally drained for Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. And then, but then new Happy New Year, and then you go. New Year's Eve. I can count on one hand how many times I've made it to the ball draw. <laughs> when you were younger, you used to. New Year's Eve is not my favorite. I've never liked it. My favorite New Year's Eve was at um, Aunt Patty's house. Yeah. Like, I don't like change. I'm not a big fan of change. But that's why we like fall. We talked about how we like fall now. It sounds like someone's coming up here. <laughs> Did you leave the door open? Mm -hmm. No. Well, because I fine. thought I was just giving you a battery and running down, but then I got, I, uh -oh. I didn't want to be alone. All right, well, uh, so, <laughs> so that oh is it. Oh my God, my hands are stained. Yes, they are. It was a um, failed fake tan. Oh Lord, that's gonna, you know that's gonna stay. No, no, it stays like three days. Because I did this in the summer. I'm really pale. You don't have my skin, that's no. for sure. No. She gets all dark and beautiful and bronze in the summer, and I just get burned. <laughs> I you have your dad's skin. And I'll get tan, but it's just one big freckle. Like, it's not actually, I'm not actually tan. All right. So, <laughs> good luck. I did amazing by being the guest today, and <laughs> I know that <laughs> you did, you and did. I know that everyone's going to be like, oh my god, I'm it. <laughs> and I want you all to know that I don't, still don't fully get this. <laughs> it means after skiing, so like, opera ski is like, you know, you would go into the, into the... Yeah, but you don't go on the chairlift after you ski. Yeah, but the, it's all like ski related, earmuffs, bunny hill... Warm sugar cookies, black diamond. frostbite, black diamond, right? It's all like skiing. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us. Yes. If you uh, haven't already, the subscribe button is right over there. And if you'd like to see the... Uh, <laughs> if you'd like to see me again, like the video. <laughs> and if you see a lot of Marin accounts liking it, it wasn't me. And we... <laughs> I'll be back, because this is really fun. <laughs> I see why you do this. Like, I feel so cool right now. <laughs> like, all the people I watch now, I'm probably like, oh my god, they probably have lights like this, too. Oh, yeah. So, um, the subscribe button is over there. And if you'd like to see the other videos in the Vlogmas series, the playlist is right over there. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Maybe Marin, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
Oh, that was yeah. so cute. <laughs>